Hey everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel. I'm finally getting another clear night since getting my new camera, the Player One Poseidon C. And it's going to be probably a fairly tricky session due to the position of the moon next to all of the main objects in the sky that I want to shoot at this time of the year. I do have something planned, so let's dive straight into it and I'll show you my setup in Nina. Alright guys, so as you can see, the first couple of exposures are in now. We're guiding really nicely tonight. It's looking uh, like a really flat graph. Can't fault this EQ8. Uh, I should point out that I'm shooting through the IDAS NBZ UHS filter. That is IDAS's own high-speed narrowband filter. So it's got a hydrogen alpha wavelength and an oxygen 3 wavelength on the glass. So it's a classic duo narrowband filter. But even so, uh, it's not too narrow so it's letting through some moonlight as you can see the background of this image is slightly washed out compared to what it otherwise usually would be we're getting mean values of about 4.3k in my last video when i was shooting the rosette and there was no moon present my mean values were more about 17 15 blank space so uh yeah it's definitely affecting things uh, is that bright moon nearby but that's to be expected it does bathe the entire sky Especially if there's some water vapor around uh, in that moonlight. So um, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep shooting and seeing what I can get from the end of this session. I am hopeful that it's still going to make a nice image because uh, even on these single five minute shots, you can see the entire structure of the Sol Nebula. In particular, the kind of whirling dervish down here is showing up wonderfully well, I would say. There's a lot of detail to be picked up there. Uh, really nice to see some of these regions off to the side these little spikes of nebulosity and these separate knots uh, of nebulous regions that are kind of separate from the main body of the Sol nebula but still a part of that region they're all showing up in individual five minute exposures too so uh, it'll be interesting to see if nothing else i think i'll be able to make a nice um kind of a standard color you know like the reds and such coming through rendition of this target which i think could still look quite striking on this all right guys i figured it was time to give you a bit of an update let you know how the night's been progressing so as you can see guiding going off really well everything's looking uh, very neat indeed i think we're seeing maybe some slight increase in quality of the sub exposures not by much nothing drastic uh, but they look just slightly sharper now as the targets touch more elevated than it was at the very start of the night so uh i'm hopeful i'm gonna be having enough data here at the end of this little session to actually make a decent image with uh, and that's all that i'm really looking for tonight i'm not looking to do any intensive testing or anything i just want to enjoy my equipment and share it with you guys that is my ultimate goal. Um, unfortunately, it looks like it is set to cloud in about probably an hour or so, something like that, I imagine. I hope it holds off a bit longer because I'm going to keep imaging until it does stop me. But um, when it does stop me, it looks like it's probably set to cloud out for a good week or so, unfortunately. There's even snow forecast for tomorrow, so um, we'll see if that actually materialises or not. But in the meantime, anyway, if I've got everything nice and warm in here. It's freezing cold out there. I think the observatory is just hitting the minuses now. Uh, but in the warm room, it is warm. I'm at 21.8 degrees right now with no heating on in here. So it's uh, well worth putting good insulation in your walls if you do make an observatory. I would say that. So yeah, I'm just going to chill out now. I think this is the end of my session. I've got a nice mug full of coffee right here for me. And what could be better to finish my session than a Bakewell tart. I'm going to eat that in just a moment as soon as I'm done here. So I think that's uh, that's about it from me, guys. I hope I've got a good image. Uh, I hope that anybody who's actually out there tonight on this night that I'm uh, shooting, which is the 7th of December, that you get to see the Mars occultation, which I don't think I'm going to get to because of this cloud that's coming. But yeah, at least there's something cool happening for uh, other people to witness. Now, as always, I'm just going to finish really quickly by saying thank you so much to everybody for watching my videos. I say it every time, 
and you know what I mean it every time I do appreciate you all uh, and I'm and I'm extremely thankful to you I uh, I can't put it into words how much it means to me so thanks to everybody watching thank you everybody giving you support and uh, until the next time guys look after yourselves so uh, close guys